some of the students uh, has requested me to tell a shortcut to find the reaction of the prob so you may get a question to find the reaction of prob also in exam so for those who cannot remember the general method of uh, uh, downward deflection is equal to upward deflection then what is the reaction it will consume some time to do this to find the deflection so instead of that i will tell you one shortcut so suppose if the load is here directly the reaction is w everyone of us know that okay now how to find reaction of this prob here or if you want to find moment how to find the moment both i will tell you first thing suppose if you want to find the moment here then what we have to do is the moment here will be first write what is the fixed end moment that is w l square by 12 for udl we know that okay next multiply this value with 1.5 okay so this will be the answer now how to find this reaction already we know the moment here so which will be uh, 3 by 2 so w l square by 8 this will be so minus w l square by 8 moment value is equal to r a into l minus w l square by 2 which will give me r a value as so by sending this here double sorry double l square by 2 here double l square by 2 minus double l square by 8 r a into l so which gives me r a is equal to w l divided by 3 3 by 8 w l okay so the reaction here will be 5 by 8 wl here it will be 3 by 8 wl okay so the same trick i will apply for this also first to find the moment here write the fixed end bending moment wl by 8 multiply with 1.5 okay now write the similar equation so my uh, if you write 3 by 2 it won't cancel so we will be getting 3 wl sorry minus Minus three W L divided by sixteen is equal to R A into L minus W into L by two will be the moment. Okay. Now R A into L will be W L by two minus three W L divided by sixteen. so this will be 5 by 16 w r a b okay so in this way you can find the reaction of the prop in case of cantilever okay next we will see how to do this in continuous continuous beam so previously i discussed in slope disc flexion they are applicable the tricks are applicable only for symmetric uh, loading if it is asymmetrical how to guess the answer also i have discussed there suppose if you have a continuous beam how to get the reaction we'll discuss here so suppose if there is a load w and w this case will not be there in slope and deflection but still uh, how to get the prob reaction in any case i am discussing if the prob uh, if the load value w is here directly it goes into this we did not discuss that so suppose if the loadings are like this how to find the reaction means similar to the cantilever case find the moment here okay so the moment here should be so, so imagine this part as a cantilever so the moment will be w l by 8 for cantilever okay so w l by 8 but here l value is l by 2 so write l by 2 here okay now what will be the moment into 1.5 times so 1.5 times of w l by 8 so which will be which will be 3 by 2 times of w l by 16 so that is w l by sorry which will be 3 w l by 32 okay 
now we know what is the moment so similar to the previous previously what we have discussed in cantilever similarly apply that equation so minus 3 by 32 wl is equal to ra into l by 2 this is ra we will consider this as b this as c so ra into l by 2 minus w into l by 4 So, which will be Ra into L by 2 is equal to W L by 4 minus 3 by 32 W L. Okay. So, we can answer, we can cancel our, all the L by 2 values here. So, which will be W, you can cancel L by 2. So, which will be W by 2 minus 3 by 16 w okay so which is uh, 8 minus 3 that is 5 by 16 w okay so this is the value of r a now what will be r c same value will be there for r c also 5 by 16 5 by 16 then what will be r b value total load minus 5 by 16 w minus 5 by 16 w Okay, so which will be 6 by 16. So 5 plus 5, 10. 16 minus 10 is 6. So 6 by 16, W. Okay, so this is the reaction in this case. Okay. Now we will find for this case. Okay. So suppose if there is a load W, what will be the moment here? 1.5 times of W L square by 2, where L is L by 2. So, W L square by 12. Okay. So, now write the equation. Minus 3 by 2 times of W L square by 12 force 48 is equal to reaction R A R A into L by 2 minus what will be the moment for this W L square by 2, where L is L by 2, where L is L by 2, L square by 2, okay. So, which will give you R A into L by 2 is equal to, you send this third side, W L square by 4 to 8 minus, uh, you will cancel this with uh, 16, so 32, W L square by 32, okay. So, you cancel L by 2, which will give you R A is equal to W L by 4 minus W L by 16, right, 16. So, which will be uh, 4 minus 1, that is 3 by 16 W L, right, 3 by 16 W L, which is the same value for R C also. Now, how to find Rb? W minus 3 by 16 Wl minus 3 by 16 Wl, okay. So, 16 minus 6, that is uh, 10. 10 by 16 Wl, which is 5 by 18, sorry, 5 by 8 Wl, okay. So, this case I have discussed it there. So, without uh, actual solving method, so actually if you want to find this reaction, it will consume huge amount of time. So, as I have solved it slowly, it looks, it, it is taking some time. But if you practice it once with fixed end moment, you can solve it very easily, okay. So, in this way, you can find it uh, for any symmetrical loading, okay. Suppose if you have uh, UDL case, which we have discussed like this, this is also symmetric loading, okay. If there is a problem, Similar to what I did, you can find uh, what is the cantilever moment here and then you can find the reaction of A, reaction of C similarly and then find what is reaction of B, okay. So, that's all about the shortcut.